Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have an SBC coming soon that is impacting the market a lot right now and it could wreak havoc on this game. It is the Icon Player Pick SBC, which a lot of people have been starting to expect. We've seen leaks, we've talked about it a little bit, and we have some more confirmed information about that SBC coming tomorrow on Sunday on this game. The market's already starting to prepare. Prices are dropping a little bit. I think we're going to continue to see prices dropping with the fear of that big time SBC. And as well, people starting to sell some teams for team of the year with this team of the year warm up series promo going on right now. It's getting people kind of focused on next week. And again, about a big promo like team of the year. So I'm going to take a look at that today and go over the content that we saw in the game yesterday as a part of the team of the year warm up series. Honestly, it wasn't that insane of a day. There was a lot of content that was released, but a lot of it um, is really just pushing you to save some packs. It looks like EA, those packs that we saw added to the code, looks like EA is going to be releasing some more of these. There's objectives that are out um, for group challenges, play some games and get some of these attacker, midfielder and defender packs. And this has got some of the lower tier fodder moving in the game. So we're going to talk about it all today in this video. If you're enjoying the videos, of course, smash a thumbs up on it, this one and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the issue that's impacting the market the most right now and what a lot of people are looking forward to is that Icon Player Pick SBC. So a little bit of confirmed information that we figured out yesterday was that this SBC is coming tomorrow. It is going to be coming tomorrow on Sunday. It's going to be a one of three player pick, which is nice because of course you get three options instead of some of the player picks this year that have been just two options. So that is nice. And it's also a baby slash mid player pick. So baby and mid icons will be packable from it. Now, the biggest question surrounding this, how much is it going to cost? Is SBC fodder going to go up? Now, my first opinion on how much this is going to cost, SBCs have been priced pretty well recently on this game. You think about like the Kloss SBC, Darmian, Muriel, right? A lot of people were very, very happy with those SBCs. Now, yesterday we got a very overpriced SBC with Gundawan, but I don't know if this really plays into how they're going to price the Icon player pick, right? Remember how we had Aubameyang last week that was very overpriced? They came back right after that and released Kloss and Darmian and that stuff. And it was still a very good value. So I wouldn't read into this and say that just because Gunduan is expensive, they're going to overprice the icon player pick. But it is a fact right now that almost all SBC fodder is very expensive. So that increases the chance that the player pick could be a bit more expensive than maybe we would like it to be. Now, how much do I think this SBC is going to cost again? The only SBC that we had to go back on as a reference last year was a mid or prime icon player pick released in March that was very expensive at the time when fodder was to the absolute moon last year. Um, and it was 1.2 million coins. There is absolutely no shot with the whole entire market on FIBA 22 this year being cheaper. There's no shot that this icon player pick SBC is anywhere near a million coins. In my opinion, right now, we have a mid icon upgrade that is out in this game that is, I believe it's about 440k to do the mid icon upgrade. And it wasn't even this expensive when it first came out because fodder prices have gone up. I think this is like 350K to do, but since fodder has gone up, this has got more expensive. I honestly feel like that the base mid pack, but the player pick is gonna be somewhere between 500 and 750,000 coins, which I think 600 to 650 seems to be in my mind, kind of that perfect, you know, sweet spot for EA Sports. Now, if it's a 600,000 coin SBC, are a lot of people going to do it? Well, obviously, it's a gamble SBC. It's the first player pick of the year, and people love player picks on FIFA. You can't deny that, right? That's why we are expecting fodder to really continue to go up because there's going to be so much demand. But again, it's a fine line because right now, EA have been releasing so many great SBCs throughout this week, and even more of them yesterday. A lot of people's fodder from their clubs have been drained. In my opinion, right, we, we're not opening a lot of packs right now. We're saving for team of the year. So maybe some icon swaps packs are being opened a little bit, but you don't have a lot of people with a ton of fodder in their clubs like there were, you know, two weeks before this heading out of the winter wild cards promo with all of the winter wild card swaps packs that were opened. You had a lot of people that had fodder, right? Now, um, you don't have as much of that anymore, but still with the hype of an icon player pick SBC coming out, 
you know, I think that's going to be an SBC that a lot of people will want to try to do. Even though icons are not as hype on this game this year and everything is just so much cheaper on the game, you'll still have a lot of people, I think, that will go out and try it. So in that, in that defense and in that case, I think that SBC fodder if the SBC is less than 750,000 coins, I feel like fodder goes up. The cheaper the SBC is, I think the higher that fodder goes. The cheaper the SBC is right away, that higher the fodder goes because we still don't have any supply on this game, right? These cards are not getting packed a lot right now. The only way that EA would somehow drop the fodder market would be to like run a foot player days promo and give everybody free packs or um, drop some like multiple preview packs um, and even then preview packs haven't destroyed fodder when we saw them come out earlier in this year They really only destroyed the, like the promo cards that were in packs and the high tier stuff um, Because people have to pack something that is you know If they drop a 50k preview pack and you pack Lukaku and like nothing else You're not gonna buy the pack with coins because Lukaku is only gonna get you half of that pack back in value You know what I'm saying? So um, it, Really this fodder it only looks like it's going to go up and that's what a lot of people seem to think especially some of the leakers uh, and it makes sense, right? You don't have a lot of demand or you have a lot of demand and you don't have a lot of supply on this game at the moment. Now, the only word of warning I would give you is again, since fodder is expensive and everybody expects fodder to go up, there's just a little bit of me that is worried that fodder might not actually explode. I know some of you guys might want to do this SBC. You might want to take the gamble and have some fun. But yes, of course, 88s earlier this year did go to 30,000 coins plus in November when we had the big icon SBC right before Black Friday. And we're kind of reaching another inflection point. Do these cards go over 30,000 coins again? That's what everybody wants. I think that the, the player pick SBC has to be cheap for that to happen. So all signs are pointing towards the fodder rising and this stuff going up and you guys cashing in on a big payday if you've invested in fodder. But again, I think it really just comes down to the price of the player pick SBC. So again, that is not today, but that is gonna be on Sunday. Now, a lot of people are also preparing in other areas of the market for this SBC. People are selling icons on the market, right? A lot of icon prices seem to be kind of you know, mellowing out, dropping down, and just kind of getting stagnant, right? The, the whole market, in a sense, is starting to get really stagnant as people are not buying a lot of cards as we head into this time frame where, you know, big promos on the line. A lot of people are finishing weekend league and selling some of their teams. You've seen a lot of icon prices just kind of continue to dip, uh, whether it's primes, whether it's, wow, it's three, two six on a bid for Maradona. Wait, he's 3.2 mil? Talk about an icon that is down, man. 3.2 for Maradona. Uh, that's that's really really low and I know this is an open bid which is a bit uh, scary I might have to keep an eye on this over the next bit because that's a three mil card and if he goes on bid for two six I want to be involved so uh, but icons are dropping right and you know the whole market is starting to drop as well one of the cards most in demand card in the game my boy Kylian Mbappe the glitch as he's known right he is back under a million coins and I don't think he's done I really do not think this card is done and honestly you might have seen this in the title as well the video I really think that the market is going to start dropping off a really good amount. I think a lot of panic selling and a lot of people are going to finish their weekend league and start selling cards today. I think today and tomorrow on this game with the icon player pick on the horizon and with team of the year really now in people's minds as the next promo that we know is coming soon. Of course, this warm up series promo is all about earn rewards and they're giving you these packs that they're really, you know, kind of. 83 plus attacker, midfielder, and defender. People know that they release, you know, attacker, midfielder, and de defender team of the year cards in segments. So this is really just, hey, here's packs, save them for team of the year. That's what they're kind of making you think about right now on this game. So um, that's that's what everything is being pushed towards right now is team of the year. And I feel like that's going to really cause a lot of selling on the market. We saw this last uh, in, in November, right before Black Friday, the weekend before the promo was just like this where there wasn't a lot of content there was nothing in packs just some sbcs and objectives and the following morning that saturday afterwards of that promo dropping so basically today the market dropped off 
a lot. So this Mbappe right now is under a million coins. He's like 980K. You know, I think Mbappe is going to be in the low 900s before this weekend and before this next week is over as we head into team of the year. So just be very, very careful of that. I think there is a more panic selling across the whole entire market that we are going to be seeing today on this game. Now, part of the reason why I think that panic selling is even starting to happen right now is that as I see some prices on the game, like look at some of these informs, right? Really, Chow many is 20 thousand coins i'm pretty sure this dude started the day on friday yeah he was 40k he was 40 thousand coins with this huge of a drop off happening yesterday you know we usually see informs dropping on fridays teo hernandez as well 187k he was like i sold uh teo hernandez right here at 280 thousand coins last night now he's down oh he's down 100k right this to me is people finishing weekend league opening their team of the week packs and selling those cards uh, and then starting to sell some of their teams. Even some of these prices of meta cards, Ginola is back down to 1.12. You're starting to see this market really drop off as people are finishing their weekend league a bit early because there's not a big promo going on right now. There's not a ton to do except start to get ready for team of the year. And you know that's going to create some panic and cause people to start selling cards more on this game. Spinazzola is 140? Are you serious? Okay, that's a 10K undercut, but still, I mean, this guy was like 170 yesterday, 160s. He's starting to drop off. So I really do think that today on Saturday, you're going to start to see the beginnings of what we will call the team of the year market crash. So just be very careful, right? A lot of people are finishing their weekend league and they're starting to sell uh, some of these cards off. Now, quick check on the Maradona bid. Okay, 2994. I'm probably not going to bid on this because, you know, there's a couple cards to 3 3. It's a prime icon. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let that pass. You guys can go ahead and have that. But um, still, there were a couple of good flips on the market yesterday on Friday. Since the promo was just SBC and objective based, a lot of icons went kind of low. I bought this Butra at 1.51. Um, I kind of broke out and just got this SC now at a quick sale because he, his price bounced back up. Um, that was about like a 10K loss. Uh, after tax, I bought a couple of Suarez at 300 to 305,000 coins. I bought some Milinkovic Savage at 149 to 150. Bought this Foden at uh, 230. And, you know, I'm not 100% liquid. I still have some headliners here. Uh, I think you might see some panic selling on headliners today as well. I'm just going to hold on to this trap because I think he's really, really cheap. Uh, and in the future, when we get us, ourselves a Bundesliga center back that is very popular, uh, I think that card will go up as it, of course, is a live item. But um, I think you're going to see people who invested in headliners team too, unless there's some of those guys that have a good game today or on this weekend with the whole rest of the market maybe taking a hit. I think that you will see some more price drop offs on some of those uh, today on this game and just around the whole market in general, especially as everybody is expecting and, and maybe selling some cards even today to go out and buy some SBC fodder to get ready for the icon player pick SBC. So uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking along with that stuff. Now, interesting news from EA Sports uh, just actually a couple hours ago. I, I want to show you guys this because this is, I think, impacting the market a little bit as well. Not a ton. Uh, but you guys remember the whole, you know, pack debacle, what happened with the headliners Ramsdale card. And some people were like, hey, I didn't get all the right packs back. A couple hours ago, they said additional impacted players have been identified. We'll be reaching out. And then they tweeted um, a little bit ago, the correct content has been provided in game for the additional impacted players. So I know some of you guys in the comments were like, hey, I didn't get my 85 times 10 or my 83 times 25. So hopefully you've gotten those back. Um, and that could be attributing to a little bit of the panic that we see maybe like on some of the informs. Like again, we looked at some of these informs that have dropped off a ton. Most of this drop off is I think due to the team of the week packs and people selling, but it may be a little bit of it late tonight when I'm recording this video is because of a couple of those packs being released out. But that is even more of a reason why some of these cards might drop some more. 350 for Marquinhos and he was 480 yesterday. That's a huge drop off in the past 24 hours. It's absolutely crazy um, how some of these team of the weeks have dropped. But that just goes to show you right now that people are not buying. People are not buying cards right now at this time um, because of what is coming up in team of the year and, and what they're expecting on the market. So that is very interesting to see. So I do expect more selling today because of that. Now, 
let's take a little bit of a look at what content was dropped yesterday. I think nothing that we saw yesterday was uh, surprising, but there was some cool content, right? There was some nice grindable stuff. If you like grinding objectives, the um, Premier League League player, Mr. Sar, you know, it's a league player, right? And when I first saw this, I was like, man, that's a decent grind. Like you have to score 30 goals, win 10 matches. I think a lot of people have been doing this in like two and a half, maybe three hours, getting some wins. I think some people are doing golden goal, which actually doesn't help because you need like three goals a game if you're going to win 10 matches. Uh, you have to score some outside the box shots. But, you know, this is really, if you have some time this week and you want to grind this or you just want to get it done, I think you can actually do Sar and Mankio. If you haven't done Mankio at all, uh, he's down here, Premier League League player, boom. You can do both of these at the same time. So if you want to combine some of these objectives, uh, you can do both of those for the untradeable Premier League squad. Maybe if you're doing icon swaps, Premier League, that might help you out a little bit there. So Sar is nice. It was as expected. 80 pace is, you know, not as hype as maybe we expect him to be, but it's still a pretty solid card. And then a part of the promo yesterday with Team of the Year warm-up, uh, there's like series, right? There's a objective that is win-based where you get a mega pack and you get 81 times three a defender, midfielder, and attacker packs based on winning some games. So this is really easy, really nice. Um, and then there's a daily SBC completion uh, group that you get a rare mega pack for in the end um, for completing it. So that's nice to, to grind and save up another pack for team of the year. So you know, these SBCs are sometimes a pain to do, and I always forget to do a few of them. But if you want to grind through that, it's not bad at all. Now, the bigger SBCs that a lot of people went out and did yesterday are the 83 plus SBCs, the attacker upgrade, the midfielder upgrade, and the defender upgrade. Now, this is just the first one that we have seen. It was an 83 plus times three. There's also an 85 plus times three. Now, that was the three different segments, right? They were put into the code. Yesterday, there was an 81 plus, an 83 plus, and an 85 plus. So we still have not seen the 85 plus. But of course, with 83s being the squad requirement for the attacker and the midfielder SBCs, so many people did these yesterday. And you can tell by how 83s reacted on the market. I mean, who's really surprised, right? You know, here's my thought on these. Yes, it's, you know, 83s are going up in price and they spiked a ton in value yesterday, but I'm going to do these, right? Because I don't want to miss the chance. And this, I'm playing right into EA right here, right? This is what EA wants you to do. I'm going to do this and I'm going to stash it and uh, hopefully pack a team of the year from it. Probably not, but I'm at least going to give myself a shot. And of course, as I'm going to be trading throughout this whole next week, Yes, this SBC maybe costs about 15,000 coins. I will gladly spend 15K, maybe even 20 if 83s continue to go up to do this SBC because I'll just trade and make those coins back and, you know, be at a net even, right? If, if you want to think of it that way. So these are out for two days. I would imagine that maybe on Sunday they'll replace them with either another 83 plus. I feel like they'll give us multiple opportunities to stash these for next week in team of the year throughout this next week. Um, and then of course the big SBC yesterday that a lot of people were, you know, it was a nice SBC to see and it's a really, really cool card, but this is like moments Oxlade Chamberlain or team of the year, um, honorable mentions. Um, what was his name? I always think of Mike LaBelle. I can't think of his name. Sabitzer, like those really, really overpriced SBCs from last year in FIFA 21. Gundawan is 560,000 coins to complete. Now, again, it does look like a really cool card, but it's just way, way, way too expensive. 9,000 downvotes on Footbin is absolutely crazy, right? So good idea for here from EA Sports, but just like a bombing, it's a bit overpriced, more than a bit overpriced. It's way overpriced, um, and, and that's a big L. But we had the Raheem Sterling SBC that was out as well. And one of the things that makes this an L in, and not very good is that it's only out for seven days. If like Aubameyang, if Gundogan would have been out for 30 days over team of the year, okay, if you're doing upgrade packs or you have a lot of fodder, you could craft it, right? I wish that that would have been the case and more people would do this SBC, but you're kind of trapped if you're a City fan because you only have seven days to do this and you're like, hmm, fodder is up. It's going to probably stay up by the time that this Gundogan goes away. So that kind of sucks. But Raheem the Dream, Player of the Month, this is not a bad card. I know that there's a lot of dislikes on this item, but he got a 91 rated card when we were only thinking he might get a 90. And this is out for 30 days. So very craftable during team of the year. If that's something that you're going to do is open a lot of packs and maybe craft uh, SBCs with the fodder that you get from those. So that was pretty nice uh, to see that item. And we also had a Carlson Player of the Month, which is kind of like a B-Tech. Um, 
Honestly, it's a BTEC Sterling. Uh, the, the stats don't look super crazy different. Carlson has 99 agility and 99 balance and also 99 jumping. So again, it's only like an 82 rated squad to do. So during team of the year, just, you know, snag yourself a very decent super sub or air divisi untradeable for icon swaps or something objective wise uh, down the road. So again, the last word that I would give you in today's video is just seriously watch the market today because I think this is the time before Black Friday where a lot of people started selling cards with a big SBC coming tomorrow and Sunday and with everybody just being scared. I feel like there's not going to be a lot of demand for buying cards today that are really, really meta cards from people's teams and you're going to start to see some sell off and you're going to see these guys drop in price across the market. I mean, even on this Mbappe headliner, he's bounced back 4.7 mil but he dropped a lot yesterday, right? This is a really rare card. He was 4.7 mil. I saw this guy, yeah, 4.53. So he was down 200K and he's bounced back a bit. But I think literally the entire market tomorrow or today, what you're going to see is the startings uh, of some more droppage in price. Look at Felix, 645. So some of these cards are already starting uh, 250 for Fred. Man, people are already starting to sell some cards. That is absolutely the case. Um, and you're going to see the prices continue to drop lower. Watch out for some crazy fluctuations, um, especially on really meta and really rare cards, because people are going to keep undercutting each other. They're going to get really low, then they might bounce back a little bit, then they'll drop a little bit lower. So if you want to get risky with any of that today, there might be opportunities for that or, or during this weekend when people are, are selling some cards. Um, on you know on this game and getting prepared for team of the year so it's exciting times with a big sbc coming and with a lot of content potentially coming i guess one sbc i didn't mention today but still could be coming is the flashback icardi that hasn't been talked about probably see some tweets about it if it is going to be going live um on the game today so that's another sbc that could move the market a little bit so watch out for maybe some of your psg links as people are saying that the Acardi card looks pretty decent and has a pretty solid upgrade. Um, and of course, it's PSG. So a lot of popular links there. But again, more SBCs, more objectives uh, on this game just continues the whole trying to drain coins before we head into the actual team of the year promo where EA will hopefully get people to spend FIBA points and replenish their accounts with coins. So that's the video for today, boys. If you're hyped for that icon player pick, of course, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.